Hi, my name is Jimmy Hazelwood. I do a few different things. I'm an actor, musician, ASM artist, event worker, but most importantly, uncle. I'm about keeping each week different, trying out new things, living out your passions, and this is exactly what this series is about. This is my week in review. Kia ora and welcome to another week of my week in review. Another pretty full on week, uh, but it was all about acting. I decided to book a few things to get back on the acting bandwagon since uh, I've been mainly focused on music and uh, obviously my channel for a while now, but I really missed acting. So for Monday, I had scheduled a headshot session with uh, one of New Zealand's top headshot photographers, Andy Crown. And I've been needing to get some new head headshots for ages, just because I look so different from my last ones. I was blonde in my last ones, and when I go into auditions, some of the casting directors who I haven't seen for a while kind of uh, have to double take when they see me walk in and my headshot. So it was well overdue, so I booked in with Andy Crown and it was amazing. So I got ready and uh, headed out to get the photos done and uh, later on during the week she sent me a proof sheet with the selections my agent had made and um, then we're going to pick the final one from there but I'm super stoked with the end results so glad to have ticked that off um, because headshots it can be quite an, an awkward experience with someone you don't know so the great thing about Andy was she just chatted and um, it was just a really relaxed experience. So thank you, Andy. Then on Tuesday, I caught up with a musician friend of mine, Laura, who goes by the name Elsie. And we have known each other for a few years now, done some plays together, done gigs together. She's got me gigs. And we decided to go get some dinner and a movie in Devonport, there's a movie and dinner deal that you can get there for 25 bucks, so we made the most of that. So we're here to see Love, Simon. So what have you heard about Love, Simon, Laura? Um, I've heard that it's a book. Oh yeah? <laughs> and uh, yeah, some, some great things, that it's going to be fun. Nice. Yep. Um, so we are at the Vic Theatre now, we've had our dinner and um, this is a very old fashioned kind of theatre that is staying alive by people like us. <laughs> So something pretty big happened this week. I have been in touch with this tour that is uh, going around the States in June and July and August. And they play at community events, schools, um, halls, coffee shops, you name it. They are a non-profit organization who uh, puts on these, these gigs around the country and you go on a little tour with them. And they've invited me to come back to this kind of callback, get to know you session in Nashville. I decided, what the heck, I'm just gonna go to Nashville and meet them. They'll either put me on the tour or not, but I will just go from there and stay in the States anyway. Hang out in LA, go do a bit of traveling with my friend Brad. Uh, meet some of you guys, of course, and yeah, just see what happens. So I decided to book myself, but I also had a bit of a surprise for my parents. Hey mate, how's it going? Good, how are you? 
I was, it's like dad's kind of lifelong dream to go there, um, to Nashville. Yeah. Today I applied for a loan. I'm just waiting to see if, if it comes through, but if it did come through, I want to buy dad a, a plane ticket there for a week. Um, yeah. And I was just seeing if you, if that happened, would you be okay with him away for a week of the business? Yeah, absolutely. I'll um, announce it tomorrow night at dinner and tell him that, um, <laughs> make it a surprise. Um, oh, that'd be rad. Yeah, and also on top of that, mum wants to go to LA, so I'll yeah. also also buy her a ticket to LA in June or July. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna t- I'm just gonna bloody get the loan and do it, and they deserve it. So yeah, keep it keep it top secret, and then I'll, I'll um I'll I'll announce it tomorrow. Hang on, hang on, let's go do it. Go. Here we go. Oh, oh uh, you forgot an announcement. What's that? So okay, um, I'm getting nervous. And Dad, pack your bags. You're coming with me to Nashville in a few weeks. Mum, I'll meet you in LA. Wow. I'm buying your tickets. Wow. Yes. Wow. We're going to America. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, Jim. Yeah. Oh my god. Whoa. You've got loans. Oh my yes. god, I love loans. <laughs> <laughs> I love loans. Oh, it's a joke. It's a joke. Yes. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Thank you, Jim. Well, what can I say? I actually don't believe it. Uh, he's going to change his mind tomorrow. And it's I'll a, wake up and it's it's it'll April be a bad, day. bad dream. Yeah. But, um, no, Jim, I, I can't believe it. And, yeah, um, thank you. And if it really does happen, it'll be really It's going to happen, though. So I figured life's too short. I Yes, I can't really afford this right now, but something told me to just go do it, and I'm just gonna go with, uh, just go with the wind there and see what happens. So yeah, I'm going to Nashville on the uh, 14th of May, and I will be in this in the states until the 6th of August. So I'll be depending on whether I go on the tour or not. I'll be hanging around the place. So um, I will let you know what happens there because if I'm playing at a gig near where you are. Uh, I would love to meet you. So let's, let's see what happens there. Also, in the last week, I have I booked these two acting workshops. Uh, one for an American accent class and one for audition technique. And I was preparing both scripts for most of the week, brushing up on uh, my preparation. And it made me realize just how much I Thought my American accent was good, but there are some words that I just slip up on. Well, I've just come from Mr. Corman's residence, and we're speaking with all the other partners tonight. Yes, time is of the essence. We're investigating some misconduct that may have occurred at your firm. In your flat. At your flat. <laughs> we're with your flatmates. Your flatties. With your flatties. Um, Okay, look, there's a line here. There's a line here that I'm having particular, particular trouble with here. Yeah, so I'm particularly interested, particularly interested. Interested? Interested. Interested. I'm particularly interested in anything you might remember about October of 2015. And then I went to one on Saturday uh, for audition technique. This was a big, long day of workshopping monologues and scenes. And they were really, really brutally honest, which I love because there's nothing worse than going into an audition and then casting director kind of um, saying, oh, that was great, okay, see you later, and then you're gone. But these guys, um, they just were brutally honest and they were so helpful and so um, supportive as well. That's the best thing to have when you're in an audition room because you're freaking out and um, you just want to do your best job. 
Ah, oh, I loved it. I really loved it. Getting, getting that ball rolling. Yeah, yeah. And she yeah, really she was, really took her time, yeah. which was really impressive. And are you recording? I'm just filming just for my vlog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you mind featuring in it? Not at all. Pretend that the camera's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you all of a sudden putting barriers up? Mick loves the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've gone about it. This is Amps, Amps a thing you're doing. Amps? A-M-S-S-R? Oh, ASMR. What's that? Um, it's relaxation videos. Well, it's really cool. I found it. I found it when I first saw the interview on oh. TV. I was like, "Ooh, this is a bit." What I don't it, know how I'm gonna feel about this. What it, have you experienced it before? Have I listened to a video? No, or have like have you experienced someone going, "Okay, so I'm just going to um." No, well, do I, your hair. I find that really strange, but I think I found my kind of own ABSR video. It's a guy that plays video games, but he drives a truck. Okay. He drives a truck on a video game and he talks about picking up this big trailer and he's got this really just calm voice that he speaks in and it's quite English. That's it. He goes, see if I've got four trailers here, I wonder if I'm going to make this turn. I've never gone through a roundabout before. That's it. Well, I hope that person doesn't turn out in front of me. And I was like... I ended up watching it for like 50 <laughs> minutes and I was just kind of like... Oh, I should be packing to move, but... That's it. Thank you, Jack. So, highlight for the week. Definitely got to be surprising my parents uh, at dinner about their trips. I'm so excited about having that one-on-one -on -one with them and having a bit of an adventure. And my lesson for the week is I've just got to stop trying to get things perfect all the time. In the arts world, there's no point trying to strive for perfection because it doesn't really exist and it doesn't really exist anywhere so I realized in this workshop like failing is actually good um, falling flat is good it just shows you that you can uh, put all your work into something but that sometimes the execution uh, just goes a different way and has flaws and that's um, that is okay sometimes perfect is just kind of boring and my music and acting stuff, I always seem to be striving for a polished product, but um, quite often the cracks are the most interesting part, or the off notes, or whatever. I'm just going to enjoy every little creation I make, and just learn from it each time. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode, I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Have a great one.